best way to begin your day? Don't delay. Get out there. The world's your oyster. After all, I'm in the Pearl River Delta. The best way to begin your day? Don't. At least not right away. Morning, China. See you in a bit. <laughs> China. You're going to love Zuhai. We're just north of Macau, the Vegas of the East, in a city that was just rated the most livable in all of China. And we have the whole day stretched out ahead of us to take it all in. Here's how you get to Zuhai. Via rail, over water or by air. That's how I fly. Getting into this part of South Central China is a breeze. But from Zhuhai Jinwan Airport to the city centre is a full hour. So you couldn't just take the road less travel. The two are scenic route from Guangzhou to the city they call the Chinese Riviera. The other thought I have is, if this is the most populous country in the world, then dude, where are the people? They're on Chitti Aditya. It is a resort town after all and any self-respecting Riviera must have its water features. And in addition to the two major seaports, Zhuhai has the Ocean Springs Resort with something like 40 hot pools. Well, Neha has to have her malish. That's how she sneaks in naps, pretending to do stuff. Uh, it's what I call resource management. And Zhuhai could even teach me a thing or two. The entire city sprang up only about 25 years ago but fully formed with an origin myth in place about this fisher girl statue. Friends and lovers debate her Satche Pyar Ki Kathor Katha huddled under their branded umbrellas as they walk along the long Zuhai coastline. The rain, like an over to tour guide, is following us everywhere. Shaw could use a break and a hot cuppa. From India. Oh, India. I love India. Yeah? Yes, Are you yes. from here? I'm Excuse not from here. I'm from uh, Beijing. Oh, I'm a traveler. You're a traveler as yeah. well. We're travelers as well. You come uh, from India. I one day I can go to India. Oh! Tea is considered one of life's seven necessities in China. And right now, I'm inclined to agree. What's your name? Though? My name is uh, Li. Surname Li. 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 Yes, surname is Li. I'm Neha. Mr. Neha. Li, nice Neha. to meet you. Neha. Neha. Yeah, not Neha. 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 Cantonese. Neha. Oh, Neha. Cantonese, Cantonese is Neha. Oh, Neha. <laughs> Neha. Neha. Since chai is from China, no surprise that is prepared with a great deal of care. Then served up in shallow cups called gaiwa. All available at this one stop tea shop. Really good. In everyday life also, do you have like tea ceremonies like this? Do people sit around, have a cup of tea? Like this, they enjoy tea almost every day. It's a part of their life. Okay, having so tea. So they can have a long, long of it, have a life. Enjoy yeah. life so they, you can live long. You have tea to live long? Yes, it's a very good of a health. A what is tea called in, in Chinese? I know, it's called cha. It's called cha. Yeah, yeah, cha. 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 The rest of the world is still playing catch up, but this is where the green tea caught on. So after the tasting, you can buy. This is a Da Hong Pao. We try Da Hong Pao. 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 It's a different kind of tea. It's a oolong tea. Oolong tea. Okay. The first, you must wash the tea. Wash. Water, they clean the tea. Oh, okay. This water away. is thrown. Yeah. yeah. This is for wash the tea. They, okay, wash the uh, cups. Okay, now the brewing starts. Yeah. But it's such a delicate process, the whole brewing. None of that lumba boiling, like for cutting chai. Green, oolong, and yellow tea leaves are very subtle. They just need a quick dunk in boiling water to release the flavour. Now I told Neha I like my morning tea with a toast. 
but i think she misunderstood so this is to long life and cha huh? cha in china uh, also for enjoyment of life yes we can agree on an early morning cup of tea but aditya and i have whole different agendas for the rest of the day okay there's a serious competition on right neha she's off to her own amusement park I'm here at the Chaimlong Ocean Kingdom, an amusement park, a water park and generally a place to have lots of fun. Just look at this place. The thing is, we've decided to see who at the end of the day comes away a little more amused. When the Chinese build a city from scratch, they borrow and choose their styles from everywhere, including their own history books. I have no idea what Aditya has planned for the day, but I know that I have an important appointment to keep. The rain is my new best friend and if I'm going to get wet anyway why not at a water park This place is absolutely incredible I mean just have a look at this massive massive LED screen on top you got fire crackers you got the ocean You've got psychedelic colors everywhere. I mean, just look at that. It's beautiful. I've never seen anything quite like it myself. The Qing and Ming dynasties, my guide tells me, by and large stay fixed in the north. The Forbidden City, the Temple of Heaven, heck, even the Great Wall, all in all around Beijing. Until of course, the new Yuan Ming Palace. newly built as a replica of the Grand Old Summer Palace in Beijing when the original was burnt and looted during the Second Opium Wars of 1860. You know you got to hand it to the Chinese for thinking big and spectacular. Look there, smile. Look at sea creature here by the way. And the mascot is so super friendly. Hey buddy, Just look at this place. It's got over 10 enclosures behind me, uh, a pirate bay, all right? Over there, uh, blue whales and sharks, right? To this side, the kiddies enclosures and rides on that side some of the more adrenaline pumping stuff. This place is spectacular and massive. What's really massive and spectacular Aditya is the new Yuan Ming Palace. And the mascots here not super friendly. Mm. Good afternoon gentlemen. Now this place may not have ancient history or legends that a lot of travelers will expect. But for someone like me coming from India, what it does have is the China that I have known, you know, the colors, the architecture, the lanterns, so kind of feels familiar. Oh damn it. I am super nervous. Okay, I'm on the parrot coaster. It's huge. It's like a bird guy. Oh Jesus Christ. When I signed up for this, Neha said, "Just keep your eyes open and enjoy the ride." Yep. Can't say I followed her instructions. I cannot see. Yeah, I close my eyes. I close my eyes also. I was very happy. Exactly. Woo! That was madness. You know, whenever I'm in a park like this with beautiful lakes and architecture, I always wonder what it would look like from the top. You know, like a model. And right here, I have that option. A cable car takes you all the way to the cloud cover. which isn't as scary as it sounds since they're hanging quite low In my park you can even get to be a part of the Chinese culture that travelers are so curious about and I finally get to see a massive park laid out like a miniature right under here What you can see Come on use your imagination right behind all of this mist right underneath it is the new yuan ming palace
They say that after a near death experience you take stock reevaluate how you've lived your life I saw my life flash before my eyes and now I'm ready to regress to my dusra bachpana Though you don't even have to be a kiddo to get all excited about a marine march past Hey ma look I found Nemo Look it's a float I wonder if it floats Deep sea divers You know those guys sink to the bottom with just their vision. Under the sea, darling, it's better. Down here, where it's wetter. Take it from me. No more competing with Neha. I sneaked a peek at life from the top. Now I want to take it down a notch. That does not get crossed off my bucket list just yet. But French Baroque architecture in South China? Now I've really seen everything. Chinese emperors have been known for the love of the arts whether it's painting sculptures pottery dance or music the last ruling dynasty of this country was the Qing dynasty and the most entertaining way of finding out anything about the history is watch it be reenacted so i'm going to go in to a theater and why don't you join me the evening performances in the new yuan ming palace fit the lavish scale of this whole palace complex large cast to a version of a variety show with music dance theater martial arts and a spot of comedy simple plots hugely entertaining quite like our mirch masala bollywood theatricals watch out aditya maine to pura china dekh liya 